Hi, this is Peter, and this is my presentation on community security and the VPSO program for rural Alaska. First, what is the VPSO uh, program? Uh, it's the Village Public Safety Officer Program in rural Alaska, formed in the late 70s to provide uh, our rural areas of Alaska with coverage for public safety officers and first responders, uh, the first responders for the last frontier and they fill multiple roles, uh, actually a multitude of roles for public uh, safety in Alaska. Um, they are uh, rural fire protection, law enforcement, search and rescue coordination, uh, EMS services, and safety education for the community they serve. Um, they provide immediate response to emergencies uh, that, uh, though the troopers may have been called the delay in the nice trooper who, if you're out in one of the villages, maybe several hours to several days before a trooper can get into that area, depending on weather and uh, travel conditions for the area. And so uh, the village, the VPSO, gives options for people, um, allowing for a uh, better control and a better response to these uh, emergencies. Um, they also uh, provide training to the public on general safety things, um, CPR classes, that kind of thing for their public. Uh, their mission statement is VSPOs, sorry, VPSOs partnering with rural Alaskans to improve safety and quality of life. Um, the three big problems that I could see looking over all of this and listening to the interview uh, seems like funding and what they can spend their money on is a huge issue. Um, hearing the story of the officer going coming into Fairbanks and getting a what equated to a hand-me-down uh, from the troopers that it turned out to almost be a junker, uh, like a lemon that the troopers had given her, um, and finding out that they can not buy new vehicles. They can only get used vehicles through other agencies. It's, uh, I almost hate to use the word, but it's deplorable in the fact that they can't buy themselves new vehicles with the funds that they receive. Um, and where does the funds come from? Even though they're a state agency, they're hired by the native corporations and the villages themselves. So their funding comes from a hodgepodge of different areas. Um, and that leads to the next problem. What is their jurisdiction? Uh, they're hired to service a community or several communities and their jurisdiction may end the second they leave the boundaries of that area. And what does that mean for some of our rural areas that though the villages may be, have a road connecting them, do these officers have jurisdiction in the middle? It's not clear cut for them. And so they run into jurisdictional issues. And then even, okay, so a crime has been reported, an emergency has been called in, they respond, they've got things kind of under control, and in step the troopers, and is that going to escalate the issues? Are the troopers going to follow the um, VPSO's uh, lead on it, or are they going to act like they're stepping on toes? Um, jurisdiction. It's just an issue that they have. Um, training. Uh, though the training that is available to these officers, they get several weeks pulled up in the beginning. Um, sorry, nine weeks certification training and they get two more weeks for rural fire protection and they get annual training for search and rescue and emergency medical services um, and other training that they need. Uh, what training is available to them that they might need otherwise and what training are they providing to the community? How well can you teach a class if you're given minimal training yourself on these programs, things that you're supposed to train? Um, why are they so important? Uh, rural Alaska is so spread out and it lacks the law enforcement and first responders. Um, the VPSOs fill this gap. They really truly are needed so that they can fill the gap in this area and provide for um, better coverage and better safety and security for the people and communities that they provide service for. Um, they're part of these communities. A lot of the times these are people that grew up in the villages, <clears throat> grew up in rural Alaska and have come back and want to fill a role and help out the communities that they grew up in and that they love. They have um, 
uh, stronger ties to these communities, which makes it a lot of times, especially in the close knit villages, a little easier for them to do their job and a little easier for them to provide services as they know the people and the people may be comfortable. And as we're designed, it helps maintain better records for statistics for these villages. Um, Though, you know, a village may, as we heard in the interview, may get a um, VPSO officer coming in and all of a sudden it seems like their crime rate spikes. And it's not that the crime rate is spiking, it's that these crimes are finally being reported because there's somebody that can actually take action and do something about this. What can we do to help maintain our VPSOs? Well, we can get better funding. Um, find a way, um, either through grants or somewhere to expand their funding so they can get better tools and offer more training opportunities for their people um, and explain or better guidelines on what they can or cannot purchase for equipment. Um, if they can't buy themselves new equipment, what's the point of them even having the funding for this? I mean, if they're getting uh, junkers that are unsafe to drive or vehicles that need more maintenance to keep them on the roads than it's worth spending money on, um, what's the point of them even having the vehicles? Um, and again, the training opportunities uh, offer better training opportunities for them, uh, more clear cut training opportunities, not only for themselves, but to have them get the certifications they need to train things. Um, expand the program. Um, as weird as it may sound, maybe roll it in or tie it in more with the state troopers and make it a um, separate office so that they have better jurisdiction, more opportunities to protect themselves and the, com the communities that they render service to. Um, that's all I've got for now. And uh, this was a eye opener on how important our VPSOs are having grown up in Alaska. I've seen them around and uh, I did not know as much and this was a good thing to look at. Thank you.